Welcome to the channel, guys. Today, we're building the ultimate hot shot rig. Working on clippers. I just got the bumper back on, which is kind of ugly, but you know, it is what it is. But today, well, first let me go over this. Quality on this film, uh, video ain't very good. It's my phone. I can't use my camera because I had to get a new phone. And they don't have NFC, so I can't send everything to my phone now. But let me uh, get the little dilly dad that goes on my tripod to hold the phone, and we'll get this video started. But today, we're going to rip out all the upholstery in their sleeper. That's right, going to rip the interior out, get it ready to redo. So with that being said, go hit that subscribe button if you ain't already. Stop the video right now. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You're going to like this video. Come on, guys. Do it. Let's get to work. Okay, ladies and gents, guys, gals, whatever. I'm back. Look at this old bumper. Boy, I don't like this bumper. Since I got it on, big gap here. Y'all can tell. What I'd like to do is get a bumper, uh, big old drop bumper own bumper you know to put on this Peterbilt you know when you look for a hot shot rig building a hot shot rig you want to make sure you pick the right truck and ladies and gentlemen this right here is the right truck for hot shot a big old Peterbilt 379 extended hood it's got an extended hood on it 22 fives you know like I say when you build a truck for a hot shot and you want the right truck I mean, uh, let's not skip the power plant. Let me throw it to you. Get over here. I like this here hood. Yeah, right there. See if we can get the hood up on this big old Peterbilt. I don't know, boy. It's going to be hard. Oh! Okay. There we go. Anyway. You got 10,000 10, horsepower Cummins here. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not really 10,000 horsepower, okay? Spun out 190 horsepower. As you can see. Blah, blah, blah. Where's it at? Oh, it's there somewhere. Da, 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 da. But it does have a 42 speed. Alliston automatic transmission behind it. So I was like, I don't know. It almost flies. It really does. But we do got to fix this power steering leak. But that's not what we're doing today. No, 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 no. We set the hood on this big old red Peterbilt. Oh. There we go. Get a lot back down. What we're doing today is ripping out some interior. Get this thing ready for hot shotting. Now, if you're curious about hot shotting, go to other channels like Toe Piglet or South Georgia Hot Shot or Hot Shot Dave. Some of them. Yeah, a lot of trash back here. And get back here. Only thing I don't like about this setup is where these seats, there's not much room to climb in between. I'm a big old boy. Oh, and can't stand up. Right here as far as you can get. But it's better than sleeping in the back seat, guys. Y'all set up here. Yeah. Oh, we gotta open this back glass. Figure out how it opens. I ain't never opened it. I know Daniel has, but I ain't. Oh, there it goes. Pulls out. Okay. Oh, wrong way, Johnny. There we go. Well, I started ripping this out last night. And you see all the mode spores. 
from all the mold that's growing up here from this thing getting wet. Let's just get to it. Now we got the window open for ventilation, get some air in here. Probably need to open them windows too. But uh I just took this speaker down from right there. So if anybody wants to buy a good speaker, it's a 15 inch kicker. I just categorized that. Look at this, look at this. Look at that mold, guys. Y'all see that? That did nasty. Gonna have us a big old bonfire tonight. Some of them good old cold Michelobes. Huh? That's right. Get this crap ripped down. Look at this. Scared to even wonder about that. That's not water coming in around that light out there. Just, ugh. Yeah, we got to get all that cleaned up. Look at it. See holes out there? See that daylight? That's where water's been coming in. We got all new cab lights to go on. Sorry if it's dark in here. Like I said, I don't know about the quality of this video because uh, I can't use my camera right now. That's some pretty material though. Too bad we gotta rip it down. Actually, I should have kept the headliner up. But no, it's got mold on it too. So it's got to come down. Ooh wee! Look at that. Ah! Look at the rat turds. Ah, oh, that's looking at my eye. You tried it in my eye, Bob. I'm dying. Look at this. Look how tasty that is. Big old rat's nest right there. At least there ain't no rats in it. So yeah, before we start hot shot with this old truck, we gotta get all this cleaned out, ripped out, dug apart. Man. So that's what a fiberglass sleeper looks like. Where everything ripped out. <coughs> well, a little dusty in here. We're gonna do this whistling diesel style. Tear it apart, throw it away. Out the window it goes. If anybody's looking for some custom interior, I got this for sale real cheap. I'll let it go for 100 bucks a panel. It's a good deal, guys. Don't miss out on it. But I'm going to get back to ripping this out. Get back to y'all in just a second. Okay, guys. That open door let a little more air in. You can see we're getting it ripped out here. Got the dog back there being nosy. We got some more ripped out. It's coming together nice. I think it's going to be perfect. I think what we'll probably do is uh, just leave it like this right here. Go ahead and get our bed put in, and we'll be ready for the road. Wait, no. Nope. Scratch out. I'm just kidding, guys. We can't go nowhere with the curtain down. I mean, we got to put it back up. There, it'll stay. Yeah. Out the window it goes. If anybody needs that curtain, let me know. It'll be in the burn pile. Burning. Well, you're more than welcome to it. It's a shame that they let this thing 
get wet like they did and ruin the interior of a nice truck. I mean, big old Kenworth, Peterbilt, Freightliner like this, you know. I know it's probably satisfying some of y'all. Got this stuff apart. Deconstruction. Ah, I know it is for me. Throw it out the window. Out the window it goes. Well, y'all, I got most of the headliner ripped out and all the interior there. Uh, gotta have a screwdriver. And Bubba's got all the tools down at the shop, so I had to move a location and he come down here. Need to come down here anyway, because he's got to tighten the bolts on this old bumper. Get my hand up in here. Up in here. I gotta pick that up. But uh I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up, guys. Probably gonna be it for this video. I wanna thank y'all for watching. Oh, it's getting cold out here. So I'm going to try to hurry as fast as I can get this done. Get back to the house where the heat is. And uh, start a fire. Burn all that crap I ripped out. Some brush around the house. And like I said, drink good cold Michelob because I'm doing my part to keep the coronavirus down. I mean, it's, as American, that's what we ought to do. I don't know why anybody want to drink corona anyway. But anyway, hit that like button. Subscribe, guys. See y'all later. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. No funny stuff, though.